So, I could do Day of Infamy again. That one wasn't so bad. Turtle? Turtle, camp if you dare. Alright, let's take a look at this. So... Totem needs Liftic. There's the Liftic. We have... This one's wonky. Where do I put my base down? I'm actually trying to figure this one out. Like, what? Where am I supposed to start? Maybe over here? On the plus side, there's no spore launchers. It's just pure... Five every point one seven. Hmm. Wonder played the epilogue mission. I didn't know there was an epilogue mission. I didn't see one. You have to zoom out a bit to see it on the side. I... I don't think... Oh, I see. You mean in the main campaign. Whoops. Restart. Did shift. Okay. Yeah, so we could probably take the bottom right. You're right, with Terps. Alright, let's do that. Camp if you dare. Okay, I'm just going to build a Terp. Grab that. Just so I can flood some anti creep, maybe. It's the duplicating stuff. Okay. Yeah, so one of these two locations probably would have done it. I figured I'd take this one because it's got some red on ore. The other area does not. Okay, structure, turp. I'm going to make this go faster. Yeah, it's, that's scary. I figure if I can take this plateau, that at least gives me a little bit of something, and if I can work my way over to get getting this plateau as well. I guess there's no real point to me getting this uh, blue-white ore right now. Oh... I wonder. I wonder if I actually could have done what I tried to do the last map.
Bear form. Let's just do... Let's just do that. Yeah, the big problem is I can't make generators like I could in Creeper World 3. Okay. So I don't think this is going to work. And I have an idea. Okay. Which location do I want? It's like, if I could get down here and get one gun pointed at this and wall this off immediately, that could do it. But I think what I want to do... is... kind of yoink this entire area. Reason being, I could potentially get eight, two terps down, terraform, one size, start with 14. Seventeen. Let's, let's try to do exactly what I did the last time. yeah, we're only a minute in, so there's no way I can take that. There we go. So at least I'm, I'm generating a little bit more power than it was the last time we did this. Ah, a little bit got through. Shoot. Okay. Better. It's not perfect, and any spills are going to be deadly. Alright, uh, let's see. So next up... Oh, let's do 19. Start getting it up to 19, because this is gonna be this is gonna be a fight. Alright. So I've got a bowl. That's you do have blue light for a small amount. Yeah. So we'll finish this wall. 
and then just work on getting some mortars down. Because what I'm going to want to do is combination of mortars and guns along these sections. Uh, just, to, just to keep the area outside my wall clear. And we're going to slowly build a turp path up towards the green R so I can start getting these totems. Oh, some of them use arc. Not all of them, but some do. Alright. Terraform, brush size, up. Okay. I'm going to move this one down here. Because I'm going to need a mortar. And another mortar. Alright, so this is going to be a, a bit tough. But at least we got guns. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So, I'm pretty strapped for energy. And we don't have any urns. I really miss being able to buy your own upgrades. I hope this actually gets some workshop support to add stuff like that back in. Because I think that would be lovely. Alright. So, the flow is bad. But I, I think we've hit the equilibrium. My, my bowl works. So, I'm, I'm just going to hang here. And we're just going to make do with what we've got for a moment. Uh, let's see. Because if, if I can take the wall, it's not that we win, but... I'm just going to snag that small amount of extra energy into generation. I don't think that was worth it. That's okay. Yeah, pillar over to the green crystal and wall around it. Yeah. Because uh, if I can take the green R, we can get over here and lock this off. Kind of? I guess it, it's not going to work the way I want it to, though. What I'll probably want to do is actually just take this, no matter what. Because this, this series of plateaus gives me really good opportunity to build up, like, a proper base. Even if it is very much split. Okay, terraform, size 2. There. Because now at this point we've got most of our terraforming kind of done on the wall. And it's not like we're actually dealing with too much more. The biggest problem is actually going to be the crimson. Crimson creep could be a problem. Can I... I can get a factor down. Yes! I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... I'm going to take as much energy as I possibly can snag. Alright, so weapon... Sprayer. I think I could get, like, two of these down. I'm just going to fill the bathtub, just in case. Just in case we get a leak. Because otherwise, I'm going to be, honestly, wasting it out here. Okay, let's just start with this. I could expand the wall more on that other side, but I think this is fine. Let's 
So I'll leave that one there. Once the total creep per tile reaches 3.5, the emitters stop. Huh. But that's per tile on the map? test. But that's okay. Let's see. Why not use the AC auto collect feature and make a wave to slowly expand your territory? I think I'd run out of AC. I just don't have enough generated. Let's see. This is going to be hard fought. Uh, once we get a little bit more land, actually, we are just barely in the yellow in terms of power storage. So this is working out. We're good. Okay. This area is a uh, splash zone, though. Like I said, if I can take this, this plateau, and maybe I should prioritize that. I'll put that there, because... If I can get a foothold over here and get rid of this, that gets rid of almost all of the creep production. Oh, I see. The bar besides the graph. You're right. Oh. Interesting. This one needed arc. Okay, I'm actually... I'm going to utilize one of these. One of these to fill the bathtub, and one of these to slowly give me some space. Because, yeah, a sprayer is going to work better for me overall for... increasing my territory. Let's see, are there any other spots in here that I haven't really covered? You gotta realize I'm desperate. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, let's put that one in the center. Yeah, I don't actually want this guy to be shooting. I just want want this to spill out just slightly enough so that this can expand. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get one mortar here and another mortar here. Do this here, and yeah, let's let's just slowly make our way to the other plateaus. But yeah, that is interesting that there's a a creep shutoff height. I I feel like that should slowly scale up over the course of the game. Not very fast, mind you, but just just very slowly scale up. So you have, you can't just rest on your laurels always. I 
Now, is there any way I can specifically tell this to aim at a spot? Because, yeah, a focus fire is saying, like, hey, clear this spot out would make my life easier. Oh, here's a question. No, they can absolutely just aim down, so I guess I'll just have to sit here and wait. I see Ratted again with the milk and water wars. Yep. Speaking of, hydrate. Ah, that's the good stuff. Hey, thank you, Crystalon, for the 36-month resub. Got like five minutes, three years. Whoop. Well, I've probably missed you, but thank you all the same. Uh, let's see. Can I... Let's fill that out a bit. Do we want to just take what opportunities we can? Where we can? I guess that's the option. Here's what we do. Instead of... In, instead of just trying to extend this pillar setup, the problem is I'm, I'm extending it into depth and I don't have the energy capacity to really handle it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to expand my fortress walls heavily. Oh yeah, that's a, another good point. That shills shield. Because yeah, shields use arg, and I'm not using my arg for anything. Okay. But yeah, what I'm what I'm gonna do is just tell it to expand my just walls out here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna take this fortress. It's not gonna be very fast. <laughs> Reenact Pangea, craft the world. Ah. Ah. Uh. Yeah, the only tragedy with this is the time investment is a little high. But this will give me a lot more potential landmass that I can use. Let's see. A lot more potential landmass to use along the way, just in terms of uh, power generation. Which hopefully will increase my power. I really wish they gave me, like, one urn for the map so I could just throw it into collection because, dang. Make the outer layer 10. Yeah. You know what? We could do that. Let's do, like, 12. Because that's, that's a little bit more achievable than 19. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot more achievable than 19. And it's high enough up that the creeper just will not be able to get at me. Yeah, do they not have reactors in this one to increase energy? No, they got mines. Which aren't reactors, you actually have to put them down in a specific location. Which... Kind of sucks, actually. Okay. I guess I got some of this wrong, but that's okay. Structure, tower. Right in the center. Yeah, we're good. 
Let's actually do... Yeah. There we go. Because yeah, our biggest problem looking at this, well, we've actually depleted this area. So if I can hop over here, that gets me a lot of energy. Yeah, I think I agree with you. 3.5 might actually just be too easy. It should scale up. It absolutely should scale up. Creeper World 4 is a prequel, so all tech's kind of downgrade from 3. Yeah, I guess I understand that. I I guess that would make me just kind of hope that uh, Creeper World 5 uh, doesn't scale back the techs at all. Let's see, is this 12? This is 12. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see some new tech. Like, I I like I like some of the new stuff that they added to this one. Uh, specifically the, uh, I mean the shield generators work better now. I like how they changed the bombers. Really, the M rift is the only thing that that truly feels like it was added to this game. I think it makes a huge difference. I think the other thing is just. Uh, you can only do so much as a singular as a singular developer and also I'm sure the transition over to uh, to 3D probably threw a lot of wrenches in things EM Rift was borrowed from Creeper World 2 ah! ah that's fine okay so how are we doing humorously enough this is a lot closer to completion than the other side a, but you know what we have? We got some space here. I'm gonna put this gun down. I'll give me some more power. Creeper World Five is a first-person shooter. I, you joke, but it would be enjoyable to have like a Orcs Must Die style or. No, it would have to be like satisfactory, where it's it's over the shoulder third person shooter. You're putting everything down, but you're running around as a person, and you can still go into kind of like a map zoom. Uh, but it would be kind of enjoyable to to actually have more of like an in person satisfactory look to all of it. That shield is flickering. We don't have enough arg for this. Uh, we should now. I just built a pair of M riffs like a crazy pants. I don't think micro riffs require power. I don't know, whatever. As soon as I get over here, that solves most of my problems. Okay. It is flooding a bit. I think it's mostly just flooding on this side. So we just don't have any terps. Well, there goes that gun. I tried. I think the main thing is this just takes a while to get going. That's eh, fine. Now I'm imagining Sanctum with Creeper World mechanics, right? Like, I don't think it would actually be as good, but I could see it being good. 
if done correctly. Though that's one hell of a qualifier. Okay, there we go. We're getting we're getting this done. Squad RTS with actual units. Nah, that already exists. It's called it's called uh Grey Goo. Like a after a certain point you're reinventing the game entirely and you should probably move away from it. You don't want to go I mean, you could just be hyperbolic here, but I've learned not to trust that from people on the internet. Okay, how are we looking? We're looking dicey. I'm gonna get... Oh, do we just not have a mortar out here? I guess we don't. All right, let's let's split this up a little bit and see if I can take a little bit more land mass. Okay, this one's gonna be tough. I guess honestly. Question one, pylon. Yes. Okay. So obviously I'm gonna have to get some guns over here to protect this spot, but hello power. I missed you. Alright, here we go. There is relatively defended. Okay, I'm gonna pop this one over here. Pop you over here. Move this one up. Okay, look at that power generation. It actually is power. Okay, so next up, let's pop over here, grab you. This one's gonna be dicey. If I can lock this off, we win. Terraform, brush eyes that. Okay, rain height zero, brush size. Oh, we're gonna do flood. Okay, brush size back up to that. We wanna do 15 again. Okay, so I, I screwed this up. So, train height one, that, and then that. Go back here, 15, turn off flood. Go here. Get rid of this, because this doesn't need to be converted. Okay. There we go. So I doubt this is really going to work out the way I want it to. But if I can get it to work, there goes most of my enemy's creep production. Let's 
slap a bunch of these all over the place. Guns here. Okay, no ARG, but that's... I mean, I would actually like that ARG. Let's see. Move this over here. Honestly, I'm just going to put all guns on deck over on this side, and we're going to see what I can do. Speaking of all guns on deck... That's... you're not doing anything anymore. Yeah, because if I can make... if I can make the breeder into a bowl... We are good. Yeah, I'm getting the blue white now. It's not much blue white, but I don't need much. Maybe I shouldn't have made it lower. At the same time, I don't think I want to stop. I should have probably just gone for the 15 high walls first and see, seen what I could do. But if I make it real low, then even if it does start to, uh, to flow up again, it'll still be trapped. Oh, is the bathtub close to spilling over? Hell yeah. Ah, look at that. Yeah, it's at 13. Okay, it looks like it's going to overflow. Or maybe it's a height of 13 on top. Ah, 13 plus whatever I've got. Okay, anyway. Let's take a look at this. Terraform. It's really this one that's the weird issue. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Everything good? It's kind of good. It's still going to take me a little while before I finish this, this secondary evil bathtub. Uh, let's see. What else do we do? Honestly... I guess. Put that over there. Yeah, I'm just going to start flooding this area with anti-creep. It's probably not going to do too much, but that's a... That's about my best solution here. The okay, other thing I can do... Back to terraform. We're on 12, yeah? Yeah, I could potentially take this entire area fairly soon. Okay, scoot this over here. Let's see, terraform. Copy that. Let's, uh... Make that area just a bit thicker so I can fit some other structures if I wanted to. Yeah, because this, this wave was a problem. Now it's Chump's land. So, what goofy thing do I want to do next? Honestly, we could try Super Cannon Rush. Uh, let's see. First and foremost, grab this. 
I'm gonna put a wall there. Let's see, rockets still waiting on them. I unfortunately cannot. Uh, oops, what is going on? Oh, right, we're in terraform mode, and I got it. We need to get up to this green crystal over here. And I will have pretty much won this whole game by the time we get to the Green Arm Mother. I guess in retrospect. Here's an option. How are you doing? You're not doing much. Move it out here. Let's start bankrupting this area. It's barely even. It's almost. We've almost got it unlock. Ah, oh, I can't move it there. Bonus question: If I move this over here. There we go. Because I, I knew this one barely puts out any any creep to begin with. So it's actually a really easy one to just take out super early. Alright. Because, yeah, the only reason why it's dangerous is it's right next to the breeder. Okay. In that case, I'm going to move one of these turps out. I thought I had another one out here. Let's see, what about over here? Ah, this is this is the other turp. Let's move it out here. So, now we're going to make uh, secondary bathtubs one and two. This one's going to take a little while to flatten out, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. There we go. I think I'm in an okay position, so let's let's turp up a bit. Just make this go faster. Okay, so beyond this. Not really intentionally. We've managed to accrue kind of this spare bit of land that I'm not really using for much. Let's rectify that. Let's use it. See, these cannons aren't doing anything for me. Let's get them over here. All right. How's everything else looking? Dandy. Okay, so the ter terps are going to take that out. This area is nice and nice and cozy. Uh, you know what? I should probably just block that off by a smidge. Is there just like the hint? barest hint of a bit of creep right there. You know what? Is what it is. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we've got 25 every 50, 25 every 50. My biggest fear is that I just still don't have a whole lot of power production. I want to I want to do some like really goofy tactics like a super super cannon rush. But it might still be in my best interest to play safe. Okay, how are we doing out here? Actually fairly well. Look at this. 
Because the problem is, no matter what, this is going to take a while. And this isn't that deep. Okay, but you're going to be Arg. I never actually... never actually built one of these portals. Next to my base. You know what? It's fine. It's too late now. So what I'm going to do... And I should have done this a long time ago. I'm actually going to build an M-Rift out here. Uh, you know what? Bonus. I'm going to turn off the shield generator. It doesn't even need to be on. These guys These guys have got it. But beyond that, what if I just yoinked th this area for myself? Okay, I'm going to need one machine gun out here. Possibly two. Alright, so good so far. Yeah, let's just uh, yoink this area. Hey, it's done. Okay, cool. They got a better spot? No. Well, we're going to make another M Rift out here. Okay, so beyond this, tower. I should, I should have done this a long time ago. The fact that this works is just great. Because, yeah, the creep was never going to get high enough to, to reach here. So now I can just take the, these areas for myself. Perfect. Hey! Thank you, Alexa, for the raid. How you guys doing? Wonder what's your favorite European capital? Ooh, toffee. I really liked Zagreb. I thought it was a really pretty city. Admittedly, I haven't been to a whole lot of Europe at all recently, so it's been... Actually, I don't think I've been to a whole lot of European capitals either, now that I'm thinking about it either. Anyway, uh, so welcome on in. How was Aleximus? Uh, first day of it, I think. Uh, let's see. We are playing Creeper World 4, which is absolutely fantastic. All right. I've got I've got the energy to squander judiciously on this. We're going to we're going to just delete that probably. Cuz if I can take the green R then I guess everything opens up. I don't know. It was fun. Splunky happened exactly how you would expect it to. Uh There's a lot of different ways that I would expect it, but Considering every time I've tuned in to Tyler playing uh, Spelunky, it usually was just, like, ended in terrible failure. It was fun to watch. Uh, let's see. It was modded Spelunky. Fancy? I'm curious what modded Spelunky would entail. Okay, let's grab these guys. They're nice and charged. Out of the porters. They're done. I guess we should wait. Oh, no, the ship's are already there. Perfect. Die! Okay. Well, that works bafflingly well. Move this guy out here. Weapon, nullifier. Okay. Maybe move this guy out here. Nullifier, there we go.
Well, we pretty much just skunked this mission. It was spooky at first, but the choice to just... Uh... Like delivery pad over here. The choice to just make my own little mini bathtub and protect the hell out of it works fabulously well. Okay. Shoot. Not as qu not quite as much clear land. Ah. Oh. All right, that didn't work. I think I'll have to take this area. Yeah, the other one had a lot more room that got cleared out so my energy things could land. Not that one. Oh, that's okay. Build more. Man, it feels good to have some actual energy in this. Let's see, maybe add AC bombers to that? Nah. Nah, who does that? Until these finish charging up. Alright, they're charged. Bam! Okay, maybe I should swing a couple of these guys back. Because we want to we wanna surround the power things. I, I think that's the mistake I keep making with this. That... What I need to do is land these right around the power power cubes, otherwise I can't do anything. There we go. Perfect. Instant base. So next up, I'm going to take some of the less motivated guns. And we're going to secure quick route. Probably could have just done this instead of Flight of the Valkyries, but you know what? Whatever. Oh, wouldn't this blow up? Probably when these guys lost. All right, whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, when I stopped powering it. Oh, you know, that makes total sense. I forgot to hook it up like this. Eh, it's fine. All right, special M-Rift. Special nullifier. Yeah, you're right. I, I totally just did turn the power off. Look, when it boils down to it, I'm still set in that same mindset from Creeper World 3, where if you destroyed an emitter, it was gone for good, and you got a power spot for it. I really miss that feature. I like what they did with Creeper World 4, but I, I think I mi miss some very specific things from 3. Okay, let's cancel that route. Let's cancel both of these routes. We don't, we don't need to be delivering power here this way anymore. Okay, well. When in doubt. Take it back. Ooh. Oh! I was wondering about that. All right. Let's try that again. And rift here. I didn't realize the power cubes were actually acting as a uh, bridge. He did it again. I mean, this one's slightly different. Okay.
I want heal here. There we go. That will make this go faster. Uh, let's see. So I've definitely, I've definitely got to have a couple of board guns here. Like this, get the nullifier down. Nullifier's down. All right. Whoops. You're not doing anything with yourself or your life. There we go. There's the nullifier proper. It's a shame. It's a bit of a shame the green R was so goddamn far away. Because I would have actually liked to use it to power all these totems. I don't exactly know how, but I completely missed this last emitter. I was like, and we're done. No, we're not. Okay, you're not doing anything useful with yourself. Alright, refinery. I'll just put it down over here. There we go. Luckily, the last emitter is kind of nothing. Yeah, how did I just like totally ignore that that exists? Existed. I don't know. Happens. Empty bathtub. Empty bathtub. Okay. Where are all my terps? There they are. Get them down here. Yeah, let's empty out the bathtub. Oh, in retrospect, I guess this ain't gonna work. Because, yeah, the problem is there's a shield generator here, so I don't know if that's gonna work with the whole bathtub situation. Well, that'll get, I think, most of these pillars down. Uh, let's see. Do we got any more? Are they good to go? I think so. Yeah, we've got all the totems. So now it's just a matter of getting to this guy. Weapon. More gun! I guess I could probably pick up this entire group and just send them in. They're not doing anything useful. Perfect. Could put down more AC sprayers. Man, at this point I got it in the bag. Anything beyond this is just wasteful. Let's get it. Get this done. Do we want to do one more of these? I could probably do one more of these. This one went a little long. There we go. Done. Rift jump. I was really expecting with Turtle I'd have a lot of enemy emitters that I'd have to deal with. But, you know, I'd have a decent base to Turtle with. No. <laughs> that one was nuts. Okay. What's a good one? Reaper's pieces. Mm. Wait. I'm seeing a lot of potential mines up in that one, which is interesting. Take this world before the enemy completes its terraforming project. Yeah, why don't we actually go do the epilogue mission? There's no epilogue mission. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Huh. All right. 